so good day guys welcome back to Romel vlog and also don't forget to like share and to subscribe for today's video i am going to discuss the indefinite integral so what is indefinite integral it is an integration reverses to the process of differentiation an antiderivative of a function f of x is a function f of x such that f prime is equal to f of x for all x so this is the properties of indefinite integrals number one integrations d of dx is equal to x plus c number two k dx is equal to k integration of dx where k is a constant number three integrations of x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c where n is not equal to 0 number 4 integrations of 1 over x dx the natural natural log of x plus c where the x is not equal to 0 so number 5 properties we have integrations of e to the power of x dx is equal to e to the power of x plus c number six the integrations of f of x plus g of x dx is equal to integrations of f of x dx plus integrations of g of x dx the last number seven is the integrations of f g of x times g prime of x dx is equal to integrations of f u du and that is the properties of independent integrals we have seven properties of independent integrals and it is necessarily to familiarize or memorize its properties by using in our um, example or given so the example number one we have integrations of x to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 6 dx so in our properties we use the properties number one and properties number two and also the properties number three so these three properties that was mentioned in accordance to num num properties number one um, integrations of dx is equal to x plus c properties number two k dx is equal to k integrations of dx where k is a constant and properties number three the integrations of x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c where n is not equal to 0 so in our given we have or we use the properties number three in the given x to the power of four so in in these properties we we add one to the exponent or the power and um bring the power into the denominator and plus one so we have x to the power of four plus one it becomes x to the power of five and over five plus two x to the power of two so we add one into the into its power which is two plus one is equal to three so the power of this of given is becomes 3 so 2x to the power of 3 over 3 and also plus 2x plus 2x we add 1 so it becomes 2 so we have 2x to the power of 2 over 2 plus 6x so in our final answer we have x to the power of 5 over 5 plus 2x cubed over 3 plus x squared so in this form we we cancel d2 over 2 so it becomes x squared plus 6x and we add the constant c so this is the final answer in our example number one which is the integrations of x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 6 dx so i hope you can understand the example of indefinite integral or the basic example by using properties number one properties number two and properties number three so that's all for today's video 
and good luck.